Hi students, I am Dr. Bhavna. In this lecture, we are going to read about the continuation of the chapter that is called as Animal Kingdom. So, in the last class, we already have done with the class of Amphibians as well as class Chondrichthys as well as Ostrichthys. So, today we are going to continue with the another class that is nothing but class Reptiles as well as Apes. So, Reptiles. Reptiles means what are the reptile organisms which are present? So, in the reptiles, basically, what uh, the snakes as well as the crocodiles, numerous crawling as well as creeping organisms, these all will come under reptiles. So, we are going to start with class of reptiles. Basically, so in this class of reptiles, crawling as well as creeping organisms. Crawling means they crawl from one place to another as well as creeping organisms. They move from, by creeping motion from one place to another. Everything will come under the class of reptiles. So all the crawling as well as creeping organisms will come under the uh, reptiles. So are they terrestrial organisms as, or aquatic organisms? See, in your uh, NEET it has been given us they are mostly terrestrial organisms. That is some may be aquatic organisms also. That is aquatic means suppose crocodiles. They all are aquatic organisms. But majority the snakes and all everything will come under the terrestrial organisms only. So they have specified as the mostly terrestrial organisms. Mostly terrestrial. As well as what is the specific feature of that of class reptiles? That is body is always covered by scales for them. Body is covered by scales. When you come to amphibians, the body is not covered by scales. But when you see in reptiles, the body is always covered by scales. Because here the body for them is dry and cornified skin they will have. So that's why the body is very hard to touch and it is fully covered by scales. It is always a dry and cornified. Dry and cornified skin will be present in them. Dry and cornified. Then later. Uh, but for amphibians it is actually moist. But here... They have, will have full dry and cornified skin that is present. So that is about the body. First we have started with whether they are terrestrial or not. Then later we have come to the body. Next we will go into the limbs. For these also two pairs of limbs are present. Two pairs of limbs. These limbs are again useful for walking and leaping and all crawling they will have limbs which are very useful. So for these also they will have limbs which are present. That's why they are classified under tetrapods. So this is about the main specific features. Then later when you go, tympanum represents the ear basically. Same as that of amphibians only, these will also not have ears that are present. Just the ear will open directly into the tympanum. Outer ear, middle ear, uh, all are absent for them. Directly because, see snakes and all, they can feel the vibrations on the ground. So how they can feel? Due to the presence of tympanum. As well as they can maintain the equilibrium and balance when they are moving from one place to another. So they can maintain equilibrium. Because of mainly tympanum which is present. So equilibrium is maintained. Then later, um, what are the another specific features? It is nothing but these organisms are also same poikilotherms. That is cold blooded animals. That is they do not maintain constant body temperature. Their temperature will vary from one place to another. So they are called as poikilotherms. So this is mainly about the different parts of the body of the organism. First we have started with their crawling or creeping organisms. Next where are they present mostly? 
there are terrestrial present when you come to the body body is covered by scales in which organisms important neat question body is covered by scales especially in class of reptiles uh, before and fishes also basically class osteichthys as well as these they will have scales which are present but they will these fishes will have extra features like that of they will have fins also which is present so here they are covered by poikilotums equilibrium is maintained by tympanum that is present next they exhibit a special property that is nothing but heart is when you come to systems heart is basically three chambered heart but but only one organism will have four chambered heart that is nothing but crocodiles crocodiles only in reptiles will have four chambered heart rest all will have three chambered heart important neat question these all will have four chambered heart is present only in crocodile rest all will have three chambered heart so these are the main features only two important points that you should remember very clearly that is nothing but body is covered by scales as well as same limbs are present eyes are present as well as tympanum is present same like that of amphibians they are also poikilotherms next when you come to the different systems uh, it is heart heart is usually three chambered heart that is two atria as well as one ventricle is present but there is one exception for that that is nothing but crocodiles crocodiles will have four chambered heart that is two atrium as well as one uh, two ventricles are present here two atria one ventricle is present as well as crocodile another exception is it will live in aquatic forms but here rest all organisms will live on terrestrial so this is about the that one next when you come to for these also sexes are separate sexes are separate that is these are also dioecious organisms sexes are separate they are dioecious sexes are separate dioecious organisms as well as they exhibit internal fertilization i told you only two will have external fertilization rest all will have internal fertilization which is present so for reptiles also it is internal fertilization internal fertilization only osteichthys as well as amphibians exhibit external fertilization rest all exhibit internal fertilization next when you come to whether they are oviparous or viviparous they are oviparous organisms oviparous only chondrichthys i am revising two to three times so that you should remember only uh, which is exhibited by uh, viviparous nature is nothing but chondrichthys rest all exhibit oviparous nature so this is about the main specific features very small features very easy to remember crawling creeping organisms simply remember a snake for reptiles and write down the points like crawling creeping mostly terrestrial organism as well as body is covered by numerous scales which are present next limbs are present limbs eyes ears same they are present two pairs of limbs next these are also cold blooded animals then heart is three chambered heart Uh, four chambered in crocodiles then sexes are separate for them what is the type of fertilization is nothing but internal fertilization is exhibited then later oviparous nature so this is about the main specific features of that of class reptiles so just i'll give you next to the scientific examples of the reptiles just write down this is the small class that you can easily remember small class of reptiles which you can easily remember when you come to examples of that of class reptiles there are nothing but first one is chelon 
keen on his turtle. All turtles will come. Snails and all they belong to mollusks. But reptiles means turtles will belong to reptiles. So keen on turtle has to do is tortoise. Tortoise, turtles, all are under reptiles only. Next, chameleon. Chameleon. It is tree lizard. Chameleon is tree lizard that is present. Next, calots is green lizard. Then, crocodiles. Keelon, turtle. Don't get so much confused. If you read four or five times, it will be easy to remember. This all you should buy heart on your own. Because Keelon's turtles as well as Testudo is tortoise. Chameleon. Chameleons, you see, they change their color from one place to another. You all will think they are amphibians. No, they are all are reptiles which are belonging. Then calots, green lizards. All the snakes, lizards. Only one specific feature that you should remember is snakes and lizards. They will leave the dead skin. That is, they leave the scales. Uh, after they are, uh, you see, after they move from one place to another, they will remove their, they will shed their scales and all. So that is the main important point you should remember. But only two organisms exhibit this feature. That is nothing but snakes as well as lizards. They shed off their skin. That is the important main question that you should remember. Keelon turtle, testudo tortoise, chameleon tree lizard, calots green lizard, next crocodiles, as well as hemidactylus. Hemidactylus. Hemidactylus is wall lizard. Hemidactylus, wall lizard. Then alligator. Alligator. Alligator scientific name is also alligator only. So that's why I didn't write. For crocodile also it's crocodile only. So that's why I didn't write the normal names. Keelon, turtle, testudo, tortoise, turtles, tortoise, lizards, snakes. Everything are reptiles. Tree lizard, green lizard, crocodile is Mm, crocodile only. Hemidactylus is wall lizard. Which is wall lizard? Which is green lizard? Important neat question. Which is uh, uh, the wall lizard? Green lizard? Tree lizard? Important neat questions. Alligator, hemidactylus all will come under this only. So hemidactylus is wall lizard. Normal lizards which you see in your house and all, they all are hemidactylus. Calots means green color lizards will be present on grass and all. They are calots. Chameleon. Chameleon on trees you see. They are also called as lizards. So they are tree lizards. Tree lizards, green color lizards, chameleon, calots. Hemidactylus is which you generally see in your house. So these all lizards and snakes, they shed off their skin. They shed off their scales from time to time. So these are the main important ones, important examples. Another uh, last few examples is snakes. These all are lizards, right? Now snakes, three important species of snakes which you should remember. It is nothing but Naja. Naja means cobra. The largest snake is cobra, Naja, cobra. Then Bangaras, Bangaras. Bangaras is crate. Next to Vipera. Vipera also that you should remember. So Naja is Cobra. Bangaras trait Vipera. This also you should remember. Vipera we say it as Vipera only. That's why I didn't write. Naja Cobra. Bangaras trait. Crate, Vipara snakes. These are the three different types of snakes which are specified and you should remember very nicely. Till now we have discussed about the lizards, 
different types of lizards. Now we have discussed about the three different types of snakes. That is Nasa, Cobra, Bangara, Sprite as well as Vipara. So this is of the class reptiles. Next we are going to continue about the class of apes. So in the class of apes basically. When we are going to start with class of aves, aves means what? Aves means they are nothing but birds. Means they will have wings for flying and all. So they will be fly, flight birds as well as flightless birds also will be present. Flight means what? Which are useful for flying. So these birds basically, all birds will have wings for flying. But there is only one bird where wings are not present for flying. They are called as wingless birds. Wingless or flightless birds. Flightless birds. Means they do not have, they can't fly. That is nothing but ostrich. Ostrich which is classified do not have the uh, capacity for flying. So, this is the one you should remember. Next, when we start with the sequence of the uh, things which we should follow, all the aves we know, they are terrestrial organisms. They will fly from one place to another. So, they are mostly terrestrial. Only one point which you should remember till now is flightless bird is also called as ostrich. So, that you should remember. Next, they are terrestrial organisms. Next, they will also have limbs. That's why they are classified under vertebrates under tetrapods. So, they will have limbs which are present. And what are these limbs? But these limbs are modified for different purposes. Suppose four limbs are present. Four limbs. Four limbs are modified into wings for flying. So, four limbs are modified into wings. For flying purposes, we can understand. Next, him limbs. When you come to him limbs, they are not useful at all. That is, they are useful for walking purposes. They are not useful for flying. So, they are useful for walking. Walking or from moving from one place to another and all. These him limbs are very useful. Mostly they are terrestrial organisms. Limbs are four limbs as well as hind limbs. Four limbs, wings, hind limbs are useful for walking. Next, how is their body? Their body is not covered by scales. Only in the tail, only in the hind limbs, the body is, is covered by scales. So body not covered by scales. Though their body is dry, but they are not covered by scales. Only reptiles are covered by scales. Aves, that is birds, they are not covered by scales. So, body is not covered by scales. Only in the hind limbs, body is covered by scales. There is one exception. Only hind limbs, I told you they are useful for walking. So, they will have scales which are present. Scales are present in them. Then later, all organisms till now which we have done, all are poikilotherms. But these aves, they are homeotherms which are present. Homeotherms. Homeotherms means what? They can maintain constant body temperature. Important neat question. They can maintain constant body temperature. We mammals as well as birds, they all are homeotherms. They can maintain their body temperature. When they shift from one place to another, they won't change their body temperature. That's why these are called as warm-blooded animals. Important neat question. Warm-blooded animals. Which are poikilotherms? They are called as cold-blooded. Which are uh, homeotherms, they are called as warm-blooded animals. So, that point you should remember clearly regarding that. Then later, 
another important question that you should remember is nothing but these birds will have oil glands that are present which are present only in the tail for them birds tail is present right so you see numerous birds like parrots and all with tails so in the tail skin is present which is covered by oil glands so important feature that you should remember skin only in tail that is the important point you should remember skin only in the tail region they are covered by oil glands oil is present oil is secreted important neat question which is asked so many times that is nothing but skin is present only in tail that is oil glands are present only in the tail region rest all full body the oil glands secretion is absent for amphibians the full body is moist for reptiles the full body is covered by scales but here only hind limbs are covered by scales and the tail is having the secretion of oil gland which is present so these are the main important points so the wingless flightless flightless birds are also called as ostrich their terrestrial limbs four limbs hind limbs four limbs are modified into wings imagine a bird while you are reading this four limbs are modified into wings uh, wings as well as hind limbs are used for walking next body is it covered by scales no body is not covered by scales only the legs that is hind limbs are covered by scales next these are homeotherms this is the important neat question which you should remember they are warm blooded animals when it comes to skin the skin is usually dry but only in the tail it will have oil glands which are present so these are some features next we will see about the rest of the remaining features of the aves so when you see about the another uh, uh, points regarding aves uh, they are usually sexes are separate for them that is males are different as well as females are different next when you come to the fertilization fertilization i already told you all will have internal fertilization only so this will also have internal fertilization and these are also oviparous organisms oviparous only viviparous till now is conductus only external fertilization is ostictus as well as amphibians internal fertilization as well as oviparous nature is exhibited by that of aves and sexes are also separate these are also dioecious and another important point that you should remember is oil gland that is one specific feature which you should remember then another specific feature is these have important neat questions so many times it is asked pneumatic bones which are present pneumatic bones pneumatic bones means what the bones in their body are filled with air for us in the bones bone marrow is present rbcs wbcs platelets everything are present but for these aves the bones which are present they are pneumatic that is hollow air is filled in them only one specific feature that is related to birds is pneumatic nature very frequently asked in neat question pneumatic bones are present in reptiles aves mammals like that they are so it is aves that is nothing but birds pneumatic bones means the full hollow air is present in them then later when you come to elementary canal that is nothing but when you come to systems so the elementary canal or the digestive tract digestive tract will have specific feature like that of crop as well as gizzard are present crop for us how stomach is present for storing the food for these organisms 
crop is used for storing the food, gizzard which will help in grinding food particles. So digestive tract is specifically will have two structures which are present that is nothing but crop as well as gizzard. Crop and gizzard. Then digestive tract is done. Then circulatory system you come. Circulatory system, what is the circulatory system? Heart is four chambered heart which is present. Heart is four chambered. That is two atria as well as two ventricles are present. Two atria, two ventricles are present. Heart is four chambered heart. Two atrium, two ventricles are present. Next they are homeothems. Skin is oily in secretion. So these are the main specific points which are related to that of uh, AIDS. So respiration. When you come to respiratory system, the respiratory is usually the lungs which are present. So respiration takes place by lungs. So these are the main systems. Already I have told you when we are starting with that of vertebrates. Heart is present in all as well as kidneys are present in every uh, organism of vertebrates. So I no need to specify once again regarding that. So uh, heart is four chambered heart which is present as well as uh, kidneys are useful for excretion and osmoregulation. So these are the important points that are related to that of AIDS. Sexes are separate, internal fertilization, oviparous nature, pneumatic bones, important point and the skin near the tail is also oily in secretion. It secretes numerous amount of oil that is present only in AIDS. Then heart is four chambered heart. Digestive tract will have two specific features that is nothing but crop as well as gizzard. Then respiration will take place through lungs. Next we will go to examples that are related to that of AIDS. What are the important uh, you see? Normal organisms which you see daily only. That is examples are corvus is crow. Scientific name of crow, the black colored one is nothing but corvus. Then parrot, sitacula, sitacula, P is silent. So sitacula is, uh, is parrot. Next, neophron. Neophron is vulture. Peacock also will come under bird only. So, Pavo is peacock. Strutio. Strutio is ostrich. This example only they will ask. Like which are flightless birds. Strutio, ostrich is a flightless bird. Next, Neophron, vulture is done. Next, Actinodites. Aptenodites. Aptenodites. Corvus, Sitacula, Neophron, Pavos, Tritio. These are the examples of that of the apes. Corvus is crow. Simply you can remember amphibians, reptiles as well as apes. Easy to remember the examples. Corvus, crow. Parrot, Sitacula, PNP, CNC. Neophron is vulture, the largest bird, neophron, vulture. Peacock, pavo, same, it will start with the same letter, pavo, peacock. Strutio is ostrich, this one you should remember, as a flightless bird. The name, aptenodites. Aptenodites is also one, uh, the bird that you should remember. Aptenodites, strutio, corvus, sitacula, neophron, vulture. So this is the classification regarding the, still we are left over with mammals, class of mammals. 
in the next class we will continue with the class of minerals so i think uh, you all are clear with this read three or four times so that you can remember easily then later two classes uh, we have done today that is nothing but reptiles as well as apes still we are left over with mammals we will then we will complete with that of animals